Hi, I'm Dr. Richard Cohn from the Cohn Eye Center in Maitland, Florida, and today we're going to talk about how to relieve eyes from contact lens toxicity. Contact lenses are a wonderful way to see the world, but unfortunately not everyone can tolerate them. Many patients will develop redness, irritation, and discomfort while wearing their contact lenses. Quite commonly, this is a toxic reaction to the cleanser used by the patient. Most doctors will start their new contact lens patients on a multi-purpose lens solution that cleans, disinfects, and rinses the lens. But some patients will become sensitive either to the solution itself or to the preservative in the solution. If the patient has mild redness and discomfort, the easiest thing to do is to discontinue the contact lens for a few days and switch to a different solution. If the patient presents with severe pain or even mild vision loss, a good eye exam is necessary to rule out infection in the cornea, the front window of the eye. Such infections can be dangerous and even threaten the patient with long-term vision loss. I always stress to patients the importance of keeping their eyeglass prescription up to date even if they wear contact lenses. If they develop an infection in the cornea and have to be out of contact lenses for a while, you want to be able to see well with your glasses. If changing solutions doesn't help, then a contact lens solution with hydrogen peroxide as its base can be tried. This solution disinfects the contact lens overnight and by morning has turned into pure water. No other chemical preservatives are in this cleanser, so patients tolerate this better. If the patient continues to have trouble, there may be other issues. The contact lens fit may be improper and different lenses may need to be tried. The patient may have some dry eye issues that may need to be addressed with medication or with different types of lubricating drops. Also, there are brands of contact lenses that allow more oxygen or water to get to the cornea. These, these may be more tolerable for the patient. In general, I always try to dissuade patients from sleeping in their lenses, even ones designed for long-term use. Sleeping in contact lenses significantly increases the risk of severe infections of the cornea, which can lead to long-term pain and vision loss. Decreasing wear time may also be helpful. Lastly, if patients become intolerant to contact lenses and they are otherwise a good candidate, he or she might consider laser refractive surgery to remove the need for glasses or contact lenses altogether. Speaking about contact lens toxicity, I'm Dr. Richard Cohn.